All right, guys, I'm gonna try to make this video as quicker, quicker than my, all my other ones here. Uh, first off, real quick, I gotta give a shout out to Air Gas. They, uh, they dumped me right on this tank of uh, Argon. $20, 20 US dollars on that. And the uh, retail on that gas is 60. And uh, this wire, Supposed to be as good as the uh, Lincoln wire, or supposed to be the same as the Lincoln wire. Lowe sells it for like 25, 26 bucks, 17 dollars for 12 pounds. So, or I think that's actually 11 pound roll, 11 pound roll. So, um, I know where I'll be going to get my stuff from now on for my <laughs> welding. All right, here we go, real quick. Uh, just got done doing setting this up so this is it I mean, it looks like crap I've cut I've cut and I've cut it's hard for me to get up in here with the uh, sawzall and the uh, grinder both so I know it looks like it's a, it's a mess but once I get everything uh, tack welded in or welded in I, of course obviously I gotta take the frame back out and uh, weld that right but uh, it should, it's basically sitting exactly the way it should be, give or take an eighth of an inch here or there. Um, I don't know if I should lift, because it's actually sitting on the floor. This is just sitting actually in there. Um, so you guys let me know if it should, should come up off, off of the floor just a little bit, even though the, uh, the front part of the subframe where, where the original subframe mounted that's sitting on the floor so um, remember it's still an inch off the floor basically um, or so because of my one inch tubing that I've added to. so but there it is again that's basically what it's gonna look like when it's got the tires off I know I'm breathing hard, so it's a lot of cutting. And then this here. For some reason, I don't know why I've measured and remeasured, but this side seems like it sticks further out. I think it might be this is bent. I don't know. Oh, I think it just moved it. I had to remeasure. But again, do some highlights here from the bolt center of the bolt to the crease in the door 64 inches exactly and that's per the, the measurement of my green mini same on this side and from the now I just kicked this thing so it's going to be off a little bit probably but from here against the tire well to the lip on the wheel should be six and three quarters right at it yep six and three quarter and the same thing over here try to measure it from the same spot and like I said if it's off it's off not even not even sixteenth of an inch so I think it's sitting in there pretty much how it's going to sit. Of course, I got to cut away at that. Allow for well travel. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do the shock still, or the coilover is actually what I'm going to go with. Whether I'm going to melt, weld me a bar straight across from place to place here and come up through the floor and bolt into them right here or something. Uh, where's it? Okay, right here. Come across and have a bar coming all the way across. Bolt into it. I don't know yet. But I'm trying not to make this video as long as my other ones. I'm sorry. Um, kind of getting ahead of myself, getting excited. In fact, it's starting to move along pretty quick now. I'm actually getting time to spend doing it. And uh, a little disappointed that I shouldn't have cut the flame. I thought, I thought I was being conservative when I cut it, but I actually overcut it. So. Um, 
let me know if my wheels should be in for further guys they are now I can measure it right they are they are right at five and three quarters of an inch from the face here should be the same on this side five and three quarters of an inch I don't know why that looks so much further out but that's right so tell me if that's about right guys hopefully the next time you see it it'll have these mini tires on it they don't fit exactly I'm gonna have to actually get my drill out and just bore the holes out just to, just a hair they'll fit and uh, it's gonna look awkward because the front end is not going to be on, and that's going to be my next project to tackle the subframe. I bought this kit, and if you look at the form, I've been asking Bolton to give me the uh, instruction manual of this because I lost it. So I'm not worried about it anymore. No I'm going to go from scratch. I got some more bar, some more uh, one inch tubing. I'm just going to go from scratch. And uh, and anybody in the U.S., especially in the lower southern states, looking for a uh, AG, 4AG engine with manual and auto transmission, let me know. It's supposed to have less than 40,000 miles. So, other than that, hope you guys can give me some help on this. Oh, you're from the inside. I know it's trashy in there. I'll show you from the inside. gonna be it and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to fit the seats in where I can still have rear passengers so. uh, or at least make it look like I can I really don't care if I do or not there.